Welcome back to the Fragrance Fraternity, everybody. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of your day with me here today. I've been gone for a little bit, so I had to come back with some absolute bangers. We got 10 stunning men's fragrances. Hopefully you're doing all the right stuff to make yourself feel healthy, you know, getting enough sleep, taking care of yourself, being nice to other people. And now today we're gonna have you smelling amazing. Let's get it started with the first one, Clubbed in a Wee Milestone from Our Moth. This is going to be a clone of Millicium Imperial. And I'll tell you what, I smelled Millicium Imperial. I had a little sample uh, tester type thing that I sprayed on myself. And I think this one actually comes across more richer. I think this is based off of the older formulation of Millicium Imperial, which had a little bit more depth and richness to it. It did smell a little bit watered down the newer one. Obviously, the Creed is going to be of higher quality, but I paid around... I think $40 for this and you're getting, I would say 85% of the way there. So if you're on a budget like me and you know, you're maybe still building up your income, right? This is going to be a great alternative to that Millicent Imperial DNA. It comes across as a salty type of a watermelon vibe. So if you like stuff that has a little bit of saltiness to it, maybe like a Profondo and something that is a little bit more of that Marine esque type of a DNA, you're going to love this one. It's a beautiful gold bottle. It does lean a little bit feminine in the presentation, but you know, it is a unisex fragrance after all. So just keep that in mind. Let's give it a spray here. The cap is decent, decent weight to it. Pretty good atomizer for what you get. Overall, great bang for your buck. Yeah, the fragrance is phenomenal. Very, very close to Melissime Imperial, both in scent profile and I would say about, you know, 75% to 80% of the quality, but you're paying you know, uh, one fifth of the price. So a good one from Armoff in the Club de Nuit line. That's going to be Club de Nuit Milestone. Let's keep it going with our next one. This is going to be Jimmy Choo Urban Hero Gold Edition. Not a lot of people talking about this one, but I think it deserves more hype. The cap is, you know, it's about, it's okay. It's nothing special. It does click into place pretty nicely. Let's give the atomizer a spray. Pretty, pretty strong atomizer. It's pumping out, pretty good dispersion. You're gonna get a beautiful pineapple note here in the opening. That pineapple does start to fade after about the first 30 minutes. And what you're left is with a nice lavender base. This one is really strong. You're gonna get great performance and projection out of this one. You only need a couple sprays. This one really pumps out. It's great bang for your buck. I think I got this one at Ross for about $40 and it's lasted me a good long while. This one is different than most of the stuff out there, you know, the YSLY, the Dior Sauvage type stuff that I'm smelling all the time, Eros. This is one This is one that's gonna make you stand out, smell unique, and it's also very appealing with that pineapple lavender combo. Yeah, just really good stuff. Doesn't, does, doesn't get talked about enough, so that's why I wanted to bring it up here. Jimmy Choo Urban Hero Gold Edition. I think the bottle is really beautiful as well. I really like the design that they did on this one. It looks nice in your collection. Let's keep it going with Ralph, Ralph's Club. This is gonna be the Parfum version. So the Eau de Parfum is pretty good. It's like a blue fragrance that has a powdery nature to it, but the Parfum really takes that one and improves on it in every single way possible. It's got a nice vetiver note there that kind of classes it up a little bit. It's not as sweet as a YSL Y, but it does come across with that shower gel, typical blue fragrance DNA that you would think that a blue fragrance has, right? I've smelled this one a couple times and, you know, it was a little bit pricier. This is a higher end designer, you know, it's closer to that $100 range. And even though I have a bunch of other blue fragrances, I pulled the trigger on this one because it's excellent. It's really beautiful. I've got a couple compliments on it already. It's already, you know, it's a newer one to my collection. And in the short time that I've worn it, I've gotten a lot of good positive attention from this one. It is a matte black finish here, but you can see through if you hold it up to the light to see how much of the liquid you have remaining. Uh, probably is not gonna come across too well on the camera, but take my word for it. If you hold it up to the light, you can see how much is left. The cap is a flask style cap that clicks pretty nicely. It looks pretty elegant. I think they did a really good job with this design. It's not that much different than the Eau de Parfum except for the matte finish. Let's give it a spray here. Good atomizer, you know, it's gonna get some good dispersion. Uh, overall, I really like this one. I'm, it's slowly creeping up to become one of my favorite blue fragrances. So get your nose on it. They have it widely available for testing and for use. It's very masculine blue shower gel fragrance, which is a huge improvement over the Eau de Parfum. 
Uh, nice one there from Ralph Lauren. We're gonna go with one that's a little bit more affordable. This is gonna be in the Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct line. You guys know, gradient bottle, how much I love that. And it's got the same uh, metal uh, shiny bar here that all the First Instinct ones have. The cap has some decent weight to it. You know, this is a $20 fragrance for 100 mil. And it's a very strong fragrance. It's very kind of more abrasive. It's got some power, it's got some punch to it. It's a combination of YSLY and Invictus, and it has a really big amount of sweetness in the opening. And as that dries down, you're gonna get more of an aquatic type of a fresh nature. So it's very fresh and sweet. You know, I love fresh and sweet fragrances if you're watching this channel at all. And this is one that grew on me. It was a little bit youthful for me in the beginning, a little bit bubblegum sweet, but as I wore it more and more, and you got into that mid and dry down, I really appreciated the aquatic nature that it brings and the power that you get from this for the price that you pay is phenomenal. I really love this First Instinct line and I really like First Instinct Blue. I like uh, the original and Extreme. I really like them all, but this one has uh, captured my attention as of late. I've been wearing it a little bit more and yeah, it's definitely grown on me. It's got that aquatic sweetness, good stuff here. For $20, you're getting a strong performer. So I definitely recommend you check that one if you stumble across it. If you don't like uh, bubble gummy type sweet Invictus stuff, that might be not for you, but I'd say give it a chance. Let it dry down a little bit. Let that aquatic nature come out and you're gonna enjoy it. Next one we have here is gonna be Hollister Wave 2. So this has also some similarities to Invictus Aqua, but I would say this one is a little bit more tropical, a little bit more creamy. Very, very appealing scent here. Very nice scent profile. It's gonna make you feel like you're on vacation or like in a tropical location, sipping a pina colada. And it's very refreshing too. It's gonna to work well in high heat situations. You're gonna get about three, four hours of performance on this one. And you're gonna get 100 mil for, I think around that $20 range as well. I do like this bottle, how it's curved like that. And you know, it's got a bit of a gradient to it. The cap is, it's okay. It's a cap, you know, it clicks into place. Boom. So. It's cool, it does spin, so you know you can spin it like that for fun sometimes. You can pick this one up by the cap. Yeah, it's, it's decently holding it there in place, even though I would never recommend you pick stuff up by the cap, but you know, I do it all the time. I'm sure some of you do too as well. Let's give it a spray here, check out the Admizer. It's pretty good, you know, it's spreading out quite nicely. Yeah, very tropical, uh, beautiful, mass appealing, can't really see anyone not liking the way this one smells. Just because it's a Hollister doesn't mean that it's gonna be you know, cheap or low quality. It is on the less affordable side, but again, for the price you pay, it's phenomenal. I've been wearing this one a lot to the gym. This is one that's gonna be good for the office or school type situation. Uh, it's not gonna really offend anybody. Whereas this next one, it might offend some people, but you'll see what I mean in a second. So this is Eternity for Men. This is the Air Flanker. Uh, you can kind of see it. It has air written right here. And this one is a very marine type of a fragrance. So the original Eternity really focuses on the citrus, whereas this one takes more of that marine aspect. It's going to make you feel like you're on a boat, maybe you're doing some deep sea fishing, something like that. And the atomizer is built into this top here. It is very strong. It is a very good atomizer. It is slightly pressurized as well, but it really pumps out and you get some nice resistance when you press down here so you can really control how much is coming out. So the thing about this one is got a prominent seaweed note which does remind you of the ocean and it does bring that vibe but I could see how some people are turned off by this seaweed note especially as it dries down. This is one where you're gonna have to test it on your skin. It might not work well with some people's skin chemistry just because of that seaweed note it might come across uh, I don't want to say, you know, like BO or something like that, but it's definitely different, right? It's not so easygoing like a lot of blue fragrances, like the popular scent DNA is right now. But personally, I like this one. I like stuff that's unique. So this one's going to be a little bit different than a lot of the other fresh type of aquatics out there that I have. Definitely more on the marine side. It's going to make you feel like you're out on the water, it's gonna take you right there. This is Eternity Air, you can get this one for a pretty good price. I found this one at Ross, I think I paid $35 for it. And uh, yeah, the glass is pretty thick. Overall, good bang for your buck there. We're gonna go one that's gonna be the most affordable one today. 
This is one that's pretty new to my collection. It got a decent amount of hype a couple of years ago and then kind of died down. This is Lucky You. This is gonna be a really good one for like a teenager, someone maybe just getting into fragrances. It's got a very grassy, grassy smell to it, but it's very appealing. It doesn't come across uh, like mossy anyway. It's just really fresh and grassy. This cap is basically non-existent and it's a rubber top, which I really don't like this cap, but this is, you know, a $25 fragrance. So you kind of just got to deal with it, but it gives you a cap. So let's check out the atomizer here. Pretty good atomizer. Yeah, it's it's got like a reminiscence of uh, maybe like a cool water or Banana Republic grasslands, something in the style of like an early 2000s fragrance. It is good for school. It's good for the office. It's not gonna blow your mind. This is nothing crazy, but it's really a good one for maybe someone younger or someone who really enjoys green grassy type scents. I'm happy I picked this one up. I really like the scent profile. It's versatile. You can use it in a lot of situations. Performance is not amazing with this one. I got about four hours out of it. So if you are looking for something affordable that is green, check out this one. It's, it's a pretty decent pickup. The next one's gonna be the most expensive one in this list. It is Parfums de Marly Percival. So this is Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce to the niche level, to the maximum. So if you like oak moss, if you like that fragrance DNA, which I personally love, you know, I, I grew up in that era of uh, smelling it in the mall all the time. So it's like hardwired in my brain to like it. And this is one that I pick a lot when I go out because these Parfums de Marly, especially niche fragrances, the performance is, is gonna pretty much outlast a lot of designer stuff out there. Uh, this cap is pretty hefty. I'll give you guys a spray here. Good atomizer. You're getting a really premium product here from Parfums de Marly. This one is easily 10 hours and the positive attention is out of control. Everybody loves the way that this one smells. Um, it's got that oak moss in the base. It's just phenomenal. So Parfums de Marly, they haven't been running as many sales as they have before that I've noticed last year. I would recommend waiting until this goes on sale because you can get it for like half the price that you normally would. I think I paid 125 for the 75 ml. I have noticed that this year though, they haven't been running as many sales. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but uh, for saving half of the money, you know, if you're on a budget, I think you could wait and just wait to pick it up. Uh, I really like some other parfums de Marley like Pegasus and Settily. But if I just had to pick one, I would pick Percival. This is my favorite fragrance from Parfums de Marley, and it's definitely in my top three of everything that I own. Let's keep it going. We have two more. This is Prada Loam. This is maybe the best soapy type of a fragrance. It's gonna be very versatile. This one is called the King of the Office because it's so appealing. You're gonna smell like an expensive bar of soap with this one. And it's got an iris note, which is the prominent note, but it's not a makeup lipsticky type of iris. It's more of like a clean iris, a more of a soapy iris. Uh, it's got a black finish here, so you can see the juice level. It's got Prada right here. The cap does click into place. It's a little bit on the lighter side. Let's give it a spray here. Good atomizer. It's really pushing out there quite nicely. Uh, this one has a certain class and elegance about it you feel a certain sophistication when you wear this one. It just smells high quality. For the price you pay, it's it's in that upper designer range of like the 80 to $100, but it's worth it because you're getting a high quality product here from Prada, Prada Loam, really beautiful soapy fragrance. Can't see anybody not liking this one. Let's go to the last one of the list for today. It's gonna to be Bulgari Man Wood Essence. So this has kind of a culmination of different woods all mixed into one. This is one that I wore heavily in college because it's a very masculine type of a scent. And in today's era of YSLY, Dior Sauvage, Eros, this one is gonna set you apart. It's gonna capture the noses of people. And the atomizer is built in here. It's got a little fake wood top thing here. Let's give it a spray. Pretty, pretty strong atomizer. This one, 
I prefer because I like wood that is a little bit more on the synthetic side. This is going to be blasphemy to some people, but I'm not a huge fan of the one Eau de Toilette. And the Eau de Parfum is better, but if you smell the one Eau de Toilette, that is a really wood forward fragrance. And it's more of like a real wood, whereas this is more synthetic. And I prefer this one over it. So if you don't mind synthetic type smells, and maybe if you prefer synthetic woods, this is going to be a great one. I believe this one was also done by Alberto Marias. Uh, it's got the font here in gold and nice green uh, liquid there. So these look very nice displayed on your wherever you have your collection. I've put a lot of use into this one. I've gotten so many compliments on it. It's very masculine, very beautiful stuff. Uh, not super complicated, right? Just basically smells like a bunch of different wood, like the name would suggest. But at the end of the day, it is a really great fragrance. Nice thick glass here. And I think these have come down in price significantly from when they came out when I first bought it. So I hope you enjoyed today's list. Hopefully you can spray some of these or try some of them on and feel good about how you smell, feel good about how other people are smelling you. And uplift yourself, uplift your spirits, and use them as a tool as just one thing that you can do to improve your day and improve the day of those around you. Take care, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. I appreciate you spending some time with me. Comment down below, what is one stunning fragrance of yours that I may have missed that I should check out? I'd love to hear about it. Have a great day, everyone. See you next time.